Welcome back. It's never too early for a decent feed <laughs> when Dean Diplock from the Radisson in Athlone is with us. Oh, and Dino. this morning we've got Moroccan lamb tagine on the menu. Good morning to you, Dean. Good morning, good guys. So Chef. good to it's see you in person. It's been a long time. It's been 15 months. 15 months. Oh and I was just chatting, Billy, the producer, that every time I was invited to come back, that night we went into lockdown. Lockdown. So twice in a row for two years, no. I got basically... Uh, into, so third time's the but you are here. We're open again. And You're you've got here. a winner, You're winner, well. big time. What <laughs> are you doing? Absolutely. I'm going doing a lamb tagine. Oh, Dean. Nice summery dish. It has spice but no heat. So there's no chili in it as such. Um, so all I've done, I've nice chunky vegetables, nice chunky onion and carrots in there. I have pre-browned my lamb, but you can you brown the lamb first, take it out, then put your veg in. Yeah. It's a one-pot wonder, everything in one pot. And it, do you use an um, a pot that can go in the oven? Is there any cut of lamb or a bit of lamb that you prefer to use when you're making? I'm using tagine? shoulder. Okay. Uh, shoulder. I would prefer that. It's got more flavour to it, okay. really, more than anything. You can use leg, but yeah. any type of cube lamb. Uh, in fact, what's very nice as well, if you like a bone in it for extra flavour, is to use the lamb shank that gets cut yeah. up by a butcher. Oh, you'd like that. That's you? very nice. Yeah. 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 I was just thinking that. A pot that you, I love seeing that pot coming in here because this that has huge. given us some of the most memorable meals in the last six years. Yeah, it has it just? It's a beautiful it's pot. And uh, it, it gets used daily. Oh, literally, really? it's so well seasoned at this stage. I'm putting just a little garlic in nice. as well. And uh, very traditional in uh, tagines uh, from Morocco would be fresh fru uh, fruit, dried fruit into it. Dates or in this case, apricots and raisins as mm -hmm. well. Gives a bit of sweetness to the dish. And can you go mad on the veg, whatever veg takes your fancy? You or? can. Um, peppers are also going to go in, some roast peppers as well. Those traditionally be along the lines of the celery, the carrot, the, uh, yeah. the onion, mm -hmm. that type of thing. But the star of the show is the spices. Now, yeah. this is called Ras Al Hanout. Yep. Uh, it's a mixture of spices. There are various different recipes, so you know, forgive me if it's not exactly the same as your one. But the main ingredients you'll have is like green cardamom, clove, cinnamon, uh, coriander, uh, cumin, of course, which would be the classic taste. Uh, there's also um, black pepper, salt, turmeric, and some mustard uh, if you want wow. to. So, oh, okay. with this all gets mixed together. Now, there are specific quantities on the uh, recipe. Okay. Uh, but they're all round, round and about uh, a teaspoon of each. But you don't, except for the very strong ones like clove and yeah. um, nutmeg. You don't need to use one teaspoon of that, although my mother would say two. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. Two cloves. She's crazy about cloves. It's a thing in our house. So, the Ras Al Hanout mixture is there. Okay. Done. So, we just mix that all together. Now, we don't have to use all of this. We're going to use two tablespoons. So, that was just a recipe for the Ras Al Hanout. Okay. And we're going to put two nice big spoons and of it is into it. Uh, this is just to flavor the mm -hmm. dish itself. As you see, there's no heat in there. Um, there's sweet paprika just for color. There's no heat at all in this. So this is great for kids. You mm. have a little bit of flavor, yeah. but no heat. So you don't have to worry about the burning, unless the kids like it. You never know. Uh, tin tomato. One tin tomato goes in. Chopped up tin tomato. I was surprised to see that you're going to cook this today because I always thought of this as a really heartwarming winter yeah, a dish. Winter warmer, yeah. Very much so, but uh, the couscous and the tagine out on the decking with a glass of white Big wine. Salad. Mm. Can't go yeah. wrong, you know. In goes our peppers. Now I've just chopped them up nice and okay. rough. Nice big chunky pieces. This, this is gorgeous. such an oh. easy recipe. Uh, in goes our sweet fruit, so a little bit of raisin. What are you choosing? Raisins and... Raisins and um, apricots. apricots. Lovely. Yeah. Uh, they're nice and hearty. They'll plump up in it. And then in goes a good lamb stock. If you don't have lamb stock, you can always use chicken stock. There's no issue with that. Okay. Lovely. And we mix that all together like so. Bring it to the heat on the stove, and then we pop it into the oven. And this is um, slow and slow for a couple of hours? This is uh, one hour. One hour, That's it's it. done and done. Oh, yeah. the, the, the they're not very large pieces of lamb. Right. So as a result, they'll cook quite quickly. And one hour is absolutely plenty. But again, test it. If it's uh, yeah. not quite cooked yet, put in a little bit longer. And it's not going to do any, any harm. No you know, harm whatsoever. It'll it's only be... going to get better, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, because it's you want to... it to melt in your oh, mouth, don't you? It's going yeah. to taste fantastic. Now, Ooh, yum. traditionally served with couscous. 
A lot of people are a bit scared of couscous. Never made it in my life. Well, sure. there's the I thing. I don't know why. I don't know. I've made it and it was ridiculously bland and I've tasted it in here, perhaps with you, Dean. Yeah, yeah, Delicious. Yeah. So you're doing something to it that the, we're not. The, yeah, um, <laughs> look, there are some very good packet ones available, um, instant ones. But uh, couscous is technically a pasta. It is made from durum wheat and it's pre-cooked. So it's actually a dehydrated product. All you want to do is rehydrate it. So okay. if you want to do a vegetarian version of it, you mm. can just use olive oil as your uh, oil in it. Uh, but I'm using butter. So I'm just oh. going to put a little butter into it. And it's such a lovely alternative. And we yeah, eat so absolutely. much rice and pasta to have yeah. couscous. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and all you want to do is cover it with a little water and is it cold I'm warm, using or warm water. Mm -hmm. warm water if you use hot water it tends to become quite stodgy and stick okay. together okay, okay so lukewarm warm so water. lukewarm water warm water and just let it soak in and then it's as simple as popping it in the microwave for two minutes fluffing it up pop it back in for two minutes fluff it up and two minutes more and it's done and you'd never add any vegetables like spring onions or anything you to can it? add anything you like to it it's okay. it's one of those uh, it's like a potato uh, mm. it's a starch dish from north uh, africa and that's their staple so mm. in this case i've put in a little bit of fajita spice just to give it a bit of flavor mm -hmm. uh, but the ones that you buy in the packets are already flavored there's lemon and um, coriander which is fabulous mm -hmm. and then there's a spicy one as well so very simple you can see it's already starting to soak up now okay. as usual we have one made well, already. I, I, I never I thought you'd never say it. This is the time you love. So, oh, I'm just going to take the couscous out first. Very oh, good. wow, it is Pop so it light there. looking. I think that's probably the mistake I made uh, before, <coughs> putting boiling water, not warm water on yes, it. Yes. So, yeah. I difference. love the addition of the little knob of butter. Like, that's going to give it a bit of flavour, isn't yeah. it, Dean? And also help separate the individual grains of grains. <coughs> now, that okay. is so beautiful. So, let's take this water. It may be a bit hot. Oh, oh my God. There we go. Nice. Nice. So, Did you not do two dishes, one each now, just one for... Just yeah. one for... <laughs> so that's I'm breakfast. going to put a little bit of pomegranate, <laughs> pomegranate oh, on that. Oh, pomegranate. And then some what do you have fresh there? coriander. Oh, Lord. Just like that. And it's bubbling away. It is bubbling oh, away. Oh, Dean, how we've missed you. Right, Laura, you can be mother. I'm you that. Okay, I am just... Does, will you so pass me down the sanitizer so I can... Uh, I will. And glass is hot. Just <laughs> Please there you do go. be careful. Thank you, Okay. Lovely. And I'll give Simon a little taste. A little taste of it. A little taste. A little taste. There you go. Is that enough couscous for you? And that's plenty. I'm sure yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Look at this. I'm look, look at the bit of getting the moose bouche. And a moose bouche. <laughs> You're not handing me that. That's plenty. Another, 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 another spoon, please. Another Thank spoon. Another spoon there, Bob. Can't wait to taste this. Dean, thing. this looks so lovely and easy. And I suppose yeah. what it's really all about is preparation, getting those spices into the cupboard. Just and then you have, have it. Exactly. I mean, you, most of the spices are in the cupboard anyway. You, Just uh, put them together. And that's basically. But yeah, look, you can make it as hot as you like. If you want to put chili into it, by all means do that. But as, it's a nice starting dish for the kids yeah. to get into spices, etc. And uh, it's so easy. You put it all together in one pot and pop it in the oven. And go have a glass of wine, leave it for an hour. hour. Just so yes, there. absolutely, leave it an hour and it's done. Come back, taste it, and that's it. Is that Heard good? Mm. Are you having a moment over there? You're having a little oh, moment. It, it has a nice gorgeous. sweetness to it now. It, it's, it's from the, the, the fruit that goes into oh, it. It just lifts it. Yeah. You'll thoroughly enjoy it. Oh, I love that fruit. And you know what? The peppers and the couscous it is magical. It's so good to have you back. Nice to be home. Thanks, Dean. You can tell he missed you. We all did. Yes. Very <laughs> good. Lovely Thank to have you with us. Thank recipe. you, Dean. Beautiful. There you go. Full recipe details are on our website, or as always, you can call into Dean at the Radisson in Athlone to try everything for yourself. Now, coming up, Jason Donovan is standing by. We'll be chatting to him after this quick break. See you in a minute. <laughs>